Round 8 came along and suspiciously, Holland had all his players sent across the road to a house to meet with the team's new nutritionist, Stephen Dank from Essendon. You might have heard of him. Whatever the pep talk was the bloke gave, it certainly worked because the team got one away. Now, I'm not a fan of Eastfield. In fact, if I was in a room with the Eastfield 11, Osama Bin Laden and also Hitler and was given 22 bullets, I'd shoot the Eastfield blokes twice. So it was fantastic to see Barry, Mooney, McIntosh take the blokes apart. And my pants danced a little bit too when Gaffney returned with the figures of 3 for 21 from 8 overs to give the Bloods a well-deserved victory to ease off relegation rumours. Mystery, why do you hate Acefield so much? Anyway, with the camera stuck on the umpire's head, the seconds didn't want to look stupid and they finally broke the seal on its virginity for the year. Similar to Tommy Ellis on schoolies, they allegedly got one away. Luke Warren recorded his highest score for the club and with the help of Tom Ellis who scrounged around for runs the same way he scrounges around the club room's floor looking for coins and breadcrumbs, they got to the total of oh, defendable maybe 150. Warren Dyke's bowlers bowled perfectly to the rules and conditions but the real man was Craig Pooey Lincoln who claimed the first five wickets including three and four balls Four balls is something that Craig is more than used to, but being the sharing guy he is, he stood back and watched as his mates ran the opposition hard. Stafford's eight overs for six runs and Warren's two for 22 were vital in the win. The third 11's road trips and batting first continued, and with a batting lineup as feeble as Muhammad Ali lately, Timmy Nielsen's 39 at the top of the order was really the only fight that was offered from the third 11, with a lot of zeros evident on the scoreboard. Warrandite's 100 of 31 overs all out was bloody destroyed by Croydon Rangers, who posted 226. The fours played at home again, looking to maintain their momentum, after scoring 4 for 340, Daniel Wellesley again ruining cricket for Milo Bowlers, this time at Moorbark, and Grant Hartman supporting down the other end. Warren Dykes 340 would win the game. Um, hang on, wait. What's going on here? But they lost? What? 340 and they lost? What? Really? Bullshit? No, that can't be right, surely. Well, that's what it says. With Hartman's 1 for 30 off 7 overs, the only bowler with a run rate below 10, Jesus, maybe they did lose. That's round eight.